<laughs> well, he tried to kill me twice on our honeymoon. Does that count? <laughs> so uh, I was, uh, I'm pretty stubborn. And uh, mostly, like, if someone tells me that I can't do something, you know, it's like everyone else, you know, like, you're that much more enticed to do that. So we're in um, Cabo San Lucas, and they tell us, all right, you, you can take these kayaks, but don't go past that rock. Well, where, where do you want to go? That's right. Oh, <laughs> Even though your, your new wife is in the kayak, and the reason they tell you not to go past that rock is because it's the Pacific side, and the current will pull you under and turn you like a washing machine. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It really, it really isn't that bad. But there's just slightly bigger waves. So we went over there, and um, all that to say is that, you know, all that you imagine, you know, like kayaks tumbling and people getting wet. Just paddle, 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 paddle. <laughs> but we made it. She was a trooper. I was a trooper. And then on the way back out, when we're getting back in the boat, same thing, paddle, paddle, and all of a sudden I feel mm, in the back of my head. Oh yeah, here Got a little the paddle. Yeah, so that was so, twice, two times. So we all heard it. Moral of the story, if you're single and you're thinking about what to do on your honeymoon, kayaking is probably not on the, the top ten list. Or just listen to the rules and you won't have that problem in the first place. Paddle boats, on the other hand, you know those little things. Where yeah, those are pretty harmless. Can't get in with that. We should play a play song. Yeah. Probably. They probably want to kick us out pretty soon.